I think you all know the mission of uh, Department of Health and Human Resources is really to promote and protect the citizens in the state of West Virginia and the public health system does a fabulous job of that. Uh, you know, we're very proud of all the work that has been done and continues to be done in that arena. But as you all know, uh, the state's budget is tight. And uh, as a DHHR, uh, we have to make very difficult decisions. Those decisions are never easy. But we like to make decisions with solutions in mind. And I think that's the critical part of what we're going to talk about today. You know, as we tighten our belt, we also have to think about what can we do to help our various entities across the state of West Virginia to maximize their federal resources while minimizing the cost of the state of West Virginia. We really have no choice in that. That's something we have to do in, in today's environment. And at the same time, we have to hold people accountable for the money that they're spending across our state. And so we believe that this year's budget, the governor's budget, is a budget that's fair. It's a budget that's very important to the state of West Virginia because we have tightened our belt. But we also know that the local health agencies have uh, had to pay their fair share this year. Uh, and, and really for more than a decade, they have been shielded from some of those cuts. And we know last year that we saw anywhere from 38 to 40 percent cuts in some of our other health care uh, entities. And those entities continue to thrive and do well. And it's because we all work together, again, to focus on maximizing our federal resources while minimizing the cost to the state. Uh, in tough times, uh, we have to make tough decisions, but I want everybody in this room to know none of those decisions are easy. Uh, but they are important decisions that we make. And so that's why the DHHR has been working with members of the legislature to introduce legislation which will provide increased flexibility for our local health departments to maximize their billing while ensuring a key focus on accountability and the important basic health services that are being offered out in the counties. At a time like this, we need to work in partnership with the legislature. And I'm very, very pleased to have two members of the legislature here who have been willing to support uh, and introduce legislation that Dr. Gupta will speak to here in a few moments. Uh, chairman Ellington, who's the chairman of the, of, the, uh, uh, of the Health Committee, as well as Delegate uh, Rohrbach, who is also a physician. Both of which, and physician of obviously Dr. Uh, Chairman Ellington as well, both of which understand the value of what we're talking about, which is giving local health departments flexibility to do what they need to do to bill, and at the same time understanding that we have to be accountable for the money that is being spent uh, across our state today. So I thank them so much.